This is an introduction to the Cove tool. To get started, select a satellite and click Add Ground Spot. Cove is now displaying all potential acquisitions of this satellite over the given time period. You can navigate on the globe by dragging with the mouse or zooming with the mouse wheel. You can also quickly jump to continents or you can specify a location in the location bar at the bottom. This can be a longitude latitude pair or a location. You can also view details of satellite acquisitions by clicking on them on the globe. This will display more details of them. The display on the globe can be customized from the cart over here. You can change the time frame you're looking at. You can modify the color of the cart item. You can also show or hide the cart item. And you can change the regions which it's displayed. By default, Cove displays both day and night spots. You can customize this to show only daytime acquisitions or only nighttime acquisitions. Finally, you can remove items from the cart by clicking on the trash can. There are a lot of satellites in Cove. To quickly filter to one you want to see, you can use the filter bar up here. This will be filtered to the text you want. You can use a pipe if you want to search for multiple items at once. You can select multiple satellites at once by control clicking. If you have at least two satellites selected, you can view coincidence. This will show regions that were acquired by both satellites. Cove defaults to showing regions that were acquired within three hours of each other. You can change this lapse times to a different quantity. For example, six here. And now it is displaying all regions that were acquired by both satellites over this time span within three hours of each other. This drop down box here allows you to specify a region of interest. If you specify a region, it will only display acquisitions uh, that occur over that region. And you can download the details of all these acquisitions over this region by clicking on this uh, blue icon in the cart. This region list occurs, uh, is defined by this region panel over here. has a list of all the regions you have defined. You can double click on one to go to that region. And you can click on the checkbox to show the region. If you want to draw your own region, there are three ways to do this in Cove. You can specify a latitude longitude pair. You can upload a KML or shape file, or you can draw a region on the globe. To draw a region, click Draw Region, and then click the points you want to define the region. Then click Save. And your region is added. If at any time while viewing Cove you want to save your current view, you can add a bookmark. This appears in your bookmark list, which is persisted across sessions. And then after you have done other things in Cove, or you have even left Cove and come back, at any time you can click on this bookmark and it will restore the view and the cart to what you had at that period in time. Other features of Cove include the ability to have collaboration sessions. You can create a session and collaborate with other individuals viewing the same globes and chatting. You can save your Cove state and then upload it again later to view or send to someone else. You can load custom KML files. And there are also numerous options for how the globe is displayed.